Previously on 30 and 30, Pittsburgh was incredible. The team, the history, the city, and of course, the people. It's a place near the top of the list of places I want to return and I can't wait to. We began the day a little bit less stressed than the morning before. Pittsburgh, it's been real. Bye. About to get picked up for the airport. Excited for Cincinnati. Johnny, how we feeling? I wanna die. Heading for our flight, Pittsburgh, a pretty small airport. For some reason was incredibly packed and we only made our flight by like five minutes. But instead of going to Cincinnati, we had to stop at another kitty town, Detroit. And we went through the tunnel again. We arrived in Cincinnati and I didn't know what to expect with the Bengals. I had been talking with Emily almost this entire time, and she rolled out the orange carpet for us. We got a brief glimpse into their orientation in which new season ticket holders are invited into the stadium, not only for an orientation on what it's like to be a fan of this organization, but they sign a contract. I also did too. Wait a minute, does this make me a Bengals fan now? And they're also given a stadium tour, which honestly is just such a nice gesture. It really stood out to me. We then were able to see other areas. The workout room, which was state of the art. And of course, Tommy had to get ripped. Joe Burrow, in case you need another wide receiver. I got you. He even went into the Bengals meeting room in which I had an important announcement to deliver. And in closing, Kitty goes down. Any questions? We then made our way to the locker room, and for the first time on this trip, there were actual players there, playing ping pong. Players like Jermaine Pratt. That's why you can hear the ping pong in the background. I almost challenged them, but didn't want to embarrass them too bad. Please don't hurt me. It was then that Emily, who acted all nonchalant, presented us with a signed Jamar Chase football to auction off to raise funds for St. Jude one of the nicest and most incredible gestures on this trip by any team, and a huge shout out to Emily and the Bengals organization. It was then after touring the locker room, hi Joe Burrow's locker, that she said, do you wanna try on a helmet? Grab Joe Mixon's helmet and said, here you go. And I said, are you sure? And she said, yeah. And so Joe Mixon, I'm so sorry. You know what we have to do. but we have a similar head size. <laughs> <laughs> this is the coolest, this is so amazing. It was then that we took the field. In a lot of these stadiums, either the field was covered or we weren't able to gain access because it was either grass or it was the off season. But here, we had full roam of the field and boy oh boy, did we take advantage. Turns out I can kick field goals. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Oh, we did it. We won. I don't know what we won. Just not virtually. I caught a touchdown, threw a touchdown, Johnny celebrated, and then I had to do the gritty. <laughs> Though I had to look it up because I'm no longer the youth. Sorry, I'm not. Lit. This was also the worst attempt at a gritty. I'm so sorry. We then had one more stop. The ruler stage a massive throne that sat atop Paycor Stadium. And it was very comfy. They were also setting up for their media day where I know everyone has seen that picture of Joe Burrow. Just know that Tom Grassi did it first. Kitty goes meow. Now, when we got to Cincinnati, it was rainy. The first time we encountered rain on this entire trip, and apparently the first time in three weeks that it was raining in Cincinnati. And so for the fan event, we were a bit concerned that maybe not so many people would turn out. But boy, oh boy, were we wrong. Also, I didn't bring sunscreen. And now I'm sunburned. Because it was supposed to be cloudy. It was sunny for four hours. It was there that we had our biggest fan event yet. You're a talk. Look how happy you are. <laughs> there was a Broncos baby in Minnesota. Did not like smell that. Over 175 people packed outside of Paycor Stadium. Kitty Goes Meow, Inflatable Joe Burrows, The Bangle Bus, a big shout out to Bangle Jim, Tony the Tiger, and of course Craig coming with the Inflatable Joe Burrow. 
It was there that I only slightly begrudgingly gave up the Jamar Chase ball. It was really cool, okay? We auctioned it off and the winner donated $1,000 to St. Jude. It was the first time that we started auctioning things off at fan events and I have a feeling it won't be the last. Now, since 2020, I always had a connection with the Cincinnati Bengals because of the creation of Kitty Goes Meow. Kitty Goes Meow. Kitty Goes Meow. Kitty Goes Meow. A skit I made a few years ago has turned into a movement. How big was it? Well, I signed posters, signs, there was even memorabilia of Kitty Goes Meow. And I signed Kitty Goes Meow next to my autograph a lot. I also got more gifts and beer than I could ever ask for. So those will be waiting back at home for me in a month. It was then time to head back to the hotel. Johnny had already begun editing or sleeping. However, the Bengals bus after a major event that Bengal Jim and company put on the previous day, it ran out of gas on the side of the road. You might be my savior. People are taking pictures while we're out of gas on the side of the road. <laughs> oh, hey, nice van, man. <laughs> so after directing traffic for about 20 minutes, help finally came, we gassed up the Bengals bus, and we were on our way. We eventually did a late meetup at a local brewery. Shout out to Mad Tree Brewing for hosting us. It was friendly, it was nice, it was intimate, and it was just a great way to cap off the day. To be honest, Cincy was a place that I have had circled on this schedule for a long, long time. Whether it's the enthusiasm of the fans or the fact that Kitty Goes Meow is now everywhere, I was looking forward to being in this city. And boy, oh boy, did they show out. Not just from the team, but from the fans. Just made me feel so welcome in a city that I had never been to. It was when I was talking to Craig that he really informed me how big this fandom had gotten over the past few years. And there really was one guy to thank. Of course, Joe Burrow. There's no Cincinnati without the Bengals and no Bengals without Cincinnati in our opinion. We love our city, we love our team, and uh, just- uh, The whole it, town it just together. rolls once, when, especially once Joe Burrow came. It's just, look at our record since he's been here. Um, he's been amazing for us, he's a great leader. You know, and he's from Ohio, so I think that, ha that helps uh, build the, the, the camaraderie that we have here and the, the love base that we have for him. And uh, he's an Ohio guy, and we're going to support him. You see, the Bengals do have an illustrious history with guys like Paul Brown paving the way. The last few decades have not yielded the results they've been. But their fans are still as prevalent as they were. However, the youth have really reinvigorated that fan base because they are there for Joe Burrow, and for the first time in a while, the Bengals are an exciting team to watch. Just the tailgates alone, going from four kegs to 14 kegs. And yes, I am basing the size of their fan base based off the amount of alcohol they're consuming because how else would you? But overall, Cincinnati was an incredible time. I can't wait to go back there. And so after being seen for many years as the little brother of the AFC North, it seems that this kitty is gonna be going now well into the future. Cincinnati Bengals, I love you. But folks, thank you so much for watching. I'm Tom Grassi, and as always, Go Reminder that there are two ways to donate to St. Jude, either on every video through the donate button on YouTube or in the link in the description. Both go to the same place. I appreciate you all. team that are traveling to 30 NFL stadiums in 30 days in the name of fundraising for St. Jude Children's Hospital. A man that I've just really got to learn about a little bit more over the last few days after hearing about doing this. A guy that I think we're all going to be massive fans of and a man that we hope to help raise even more money. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Gross. Yeah. Hey, hey.